All right, welcome. This is M Dog, and today we are looking at how to make decent silver here at Curie Lake. And you'll see that uh, what I'm showing you here is what's been taught to me by players that have been around for longer. And I think this is pretty standard practice. But if you're new to the game and new to Curie Lake, you may not know about these spots yet. So if you're coming to Curie Lake at level 16 from Old Berg Lake, or maybe level 17 if you stayed a little longer at Berg. Um, coming to this spot, one thing you'll you'll notice is sort of a change of pace. Uh, you're not going to be pulling in the, the fish quite as frequently, but when you do pull in these fish, they're going to be worth a lot more, both in experience and silver. And the, basically the two spots is going to be around southeast. First of all, let me show you where we are. When you come in, you're going to come in at that village across the lake there. You're going to have to go down and you're going to do a one-day boat rental, drive the boat to this island. This is called the Cursed Island. It's just the only island in the middle of this Curie Lake. This is where you want to come. And I'll show you what gear I'm using. Hey, what's up, Amar? Evening and welcome. Um, I am streaming live, so if you see this video later but want to come check out the stream, MDog Gaming on twitch.tv. Uh, so once you're on this island, there's two spots you're thinking about here. Southeast for the burbot, and uh, basically northwest, sorry, southwest to for the char. And I'll show you here, we're going to be transitioning. So we're, you're doing the burbot in the evening and the char during the daytime hours. So we're coming off the end of our fishing time for burbot, and we're about to start the char time. So I'll show you the sort of switching over going from this spot to that spot. But first, let's look at the burbot spot. This this is a little more of a flexible spot for the burbot. Uh, initially, in the last few days, where I was catching them was really just directly south towards this castle tower. Just going full cast out south. This is with bottom lines, by the way. We are doing bottom or feeder, feeder fishing. Uh, then we were casting a little bit more closer to east towards this beach where I've ended up landing for now as maybe the fish do move a little bit but right now the hotter spot seems to be towards these rocks really at about southeast maybe a little to the right of those rocks sometimes and I have two rigs that are appropriate for um, the size fish that we're pulling out both the burbot as well as the char and first let's look at these two species first let's look at the burbot here's a valued one here's an undervalued one the two we've caught out here so far during this day and um yeah they're worth pretty good experience pretty good gold uh, pretty good silver not as much as the char but i feel like catching these are a little more consistent than the char these are what the char look like they have a huge range in size that you can pull up but as you can see, the value starts somewhere around 500 uh, grams. And as long as it's north of that, you're going to get a ton for this 300 and, I mean, sorry, three plus kilogram char. We're going to really make some good silver and also would have gotten some good experience. I will show you real quick. Yesterday we pulled up a, let's see, under statistics, you can look at your record fish. And we got this trophy burbot. So let's look at that a little more closely and this was worth over 100 silver by itself it came in at 9.4 kilograms and that was a pretty fun moment especially with our gear it was quite a fight let's look at the gear and kind of talk about how we're how we're doing this and then we need to transition for char so we've got two we've got the asteria and the fortuna feeder fd420 uh, we've got them set up almost identical though we're using pieces of fish as our bait and we've got really large hooks one of them's a 1-0 and this one's a 4-0 you can also use night crawlers, although I seem to get more consistent bites with the fish. Uh, there's other things you can use as well, but that's what you see most commonly, people catching them with pieces of fish and night crawlers. And that's pretty much the only sort of difference here. You'll see that when we switch over to fish for the char, we are going to be changing a couple of things. Uh, but I'll show you this, this rig as well. Uh, it's got the Asteria, same size, um, actually not the same size, same load reel. They're both can hold up to uh, seven, sorry, let me make sure that I'm not speaking out. No, it is 7.5 kilogram load. And we've got an over, um, we've got 7.5 kilogram line on this one and then an overload on the other one with like a 10 kilogram or 11 kilogram line, I can't remember. But again, large bait and the fish. So let's pull this one out of the water. 
and we'll make the transition to start fishing for char. It's a little early, 6.37 a.m. in game time. You don't necessarily have to switch this soon because really the burbot will bite all day. They're just most active at night, it seems like. But the char, definitely, you see them a lot more during the day. And I would say that the later the day, the more likely, but I've caught some in the morning, so I don't mind switching over at this point. Let's reel this in a little faster here. Okay, so before we throw it over here to the southwest, like I was telling you, we are going to, we'll keep the extra large. We keep the 1-0 size hook, but we're not going to do the 4-0 over here. But the key bait you want to use for the char is going to be the mayfly larva. And there may be other things you can catch them on, but this is pretty much, I think, the um, agreed upon best, best bait for these guys. So we're going to throw, I told you southwest, more specifically, I usually aim at that rock that I'm pointing at or just to the left of it. It's just what I've had success. Probably could have had similar success with more variants, but that's just where I've ended up casting it. I feel like more people move around on the on the burbot than they do the char. Uh, than the char. I think char. A lot of folks do cast right in that direction. So let's go ahead and switch over our other reel as well, and we'll have them both set up for char. And then we'll bring this video to a close. I'll let you experience coming out here and actually bringing in these nice fish. Uh, as long as your gear is sort of at a similar level to what mine is at, I think you'll be fine. It's, I guess, suppose it's possible you're gonna hook into a monster that could blow your gear up, but um, most of the char and the burbot are gonna be at a weight that's, that's appropriate. Sometimes it'll be a fight, but it's appropriate for this gear. So let's get these both on the bottom. Make sure they're settled down there. Um, but yeah, the char tend to fight a little heavier, I feel like, though burbot, kind of like catfish, are just, you know, sometimes they're just heavy fish in terms of bringing them out of the water. But this is what you want to do. You'll notice that uh, once you get out here and you start catching these fish again, the char especially, as Pro Gaming, who's also in our chat, is in this spot fishing and just got a nice 2.8 kilogram char. Just get a ton of experience. You'll, you'll hit that from level 16 to 17 or 18 pretty quick out here catching these fish. And then you'll also see your silver amount increase at a little faster rate too. As long as you can be patient. Because like I said, it's a change of pace from Old Berg and some of the other fishing locations. You're not just throwing fish in your net all day. But when you do get them, they tend to be worth a good, good bit more. Anyway, good luck fishing. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I hope you'll come try out... Uh, try out the Curie Lake as well. I, I should mention, bringing up the map here, there are other places you can fish here. This is just sort of the risk reward spot. A lot of people come out to this island to go for the char and the burbot, but there are certainly other spots you can go to, and maybe we'll talk about those another time. But again, thanks for watching. All right, guys, how y'all doing tonight? I had said I was going to make.